Hey guys, it's Kashiba and welcome back to Violet. So we are ready to challenge the Cascafara or Cascarfa gym. Um, I have everything leveled up. I actually caught a uh, level 35 Bruxish to go tackle the fire dark the fire star crew, which we might tackle this video. And I also caught a Magneton that terrestrializes into um, an ice type. So yeah, this should, we should be doing good because I think everything's level 30 if I remember correctly. So we're gonna head straight for that gym. And we might tackle the Firestar crew. We'll see how things go after the gym first. Oh boy, here we go. Is it Nimona? I have no idea who I'm voicing here, so I'll just give a vo random voice. Vulton Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. It's a man. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, Kofu, wait. He got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're you're j here as a gym challenger, right? <laughs> I knew it. Of course you are. That big man that just left that I gave a really pathetic voice to is Kofu, leader of the Kaskar Fod Gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. It's where you'll come in, kind gym challenge. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. <laughs> Here's his wallet, I'm counting on you. That wallet is nasty. <laughs> Fuck Venonet. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to Porto Mar Marinada. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. I'm sorry. Great, so I gotta travel the desert. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop sneezing. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna go to the desert. This is what happens when I do things. <laughs> when I first wake up in the morning, I'm first coughing and sneezing and yawning and everything. Which it's gonna be fun to edit all of this out when I come to edit this. Whoa, massive outbreak. There's like two Rowlets here. What do you mean a mass outbreak? There's like two Rowlets here. Oh, there's another one. There's three. I should be checking just in case they're shiny. I mean, it's highly uh, doubtful that any of them are. Oh, what is that ostrich looking fucking thing? I ain't catching you. I don't know how dangerous you are. Oh God, who's calling me? Arvin, of course. Oh yeah, because I'm close to the desert one. Hang on, let me voice. Hey, Kashiva! Apparently this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on, Earth, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Actually, that might be something I tackle before the fire, um, star crew. Uh, we'll see, because it's just right over here, but, uh, we'll see. I'll have to check the level and everything. I hope I don't walk into it on my way here, because that's not what I want to challenge right now. All right, I think we about made it to where we need to be. Oh, is that a giraffe rig? I don't have a giraffe rig. I need that.
Ah, I did st strike it. Give it a little strike. Do a U-turn. This move is good for catching Pokemon. Oops. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't kill it. Which is a good thing. Um, well, I don't really want to send out my Bruxish, because Bruxish will wipe the floor. I guess I should be preparing for the Ground Titan, or Desert Titan, whatever the hell. Uh, get in the ball. I think I somewhat got my team ready. I think my final team is going to be the Meowskara, which is the final evolution of Sprigatito, um, Ampharos, Talonflame. Who's this for? Oh, it's for Florigato. Uh, 70. But I like U-Turn. Mm. I'm gonna get rid of Bite for it. I don't know. Actually, I might not use Slash. But Slash seems good. Yeah, we'll get rid of Bite for it. So now if I challenge any Psychic or Ghost type Terror Raids, I'm going to have to find an actual Dark type Pokemon. Or one of my Pokemon with a Dark type move. But as I was saying, um, anyway, as I was saying, um, I think I somewhat have my team together. I'm going to do Talonflame, Meowskara, um, Ampharos. A water type, but I don't know if I want it to be Bruxish. Because Bruxish doesn't really evolve. I'm just going to use Bruxish for the fire type crew. Um, I was going to do Floatzel, but I don't know. I'll have to find some good uh, water type Pokemon. I mean, I could do a Gyarados, catch a Magikarp, and evolve it into a Gyarados. Because Gyarados is really good. All right, where is this old man? You dropped your wallet. He's up here. There he is. Now let me give him a proper voice instead of a womanly voice. <laughs> Valtin Valusa, where, where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man Kofu, I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. Of course it's ingredients. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice will have to stop you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? You're rude as fuck. <laughs> super important, eh? Well, we'll see about that. Maybe a bat will shut your mouth. Damn! <laughs> this dude! Alright, I'm gonna fuck you up for being super rude to me. Oh, a Floatzel? Well, I've got a Florigato, so try me. Coming in hot with that magical leaf. A cla- what- wait, what's a clauncher? What's a clauncher? I'm gonna keep Pokemon, because I don't know what a clauncher is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. 
Really? 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 I said goodbye. I should be using Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb is better than Magical Leaf, but whatever. Yeah, you, you, you want to keep talking smack there, buddy? You're rude as fuck. I think you already let him down. No, really? I haven't? I didn't take your money. Like, what the fuck? Dude. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. Oh, oh my Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little wallet list about me? Let's be, what can I do for you? Vault and Volus on my wallet. So what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here just to bring it to me? <laughs> That's a huge hop. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. He was rude as fuck. I was gonna take him- I was gonna cash him outside. <laughs> How about that? Ugh. I don't ever want to say that line again. There's something here at the Porto Mer- Oh my god, I can't talk today. There's something here at the Porto Marinada auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you don't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary wakame seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vaulting Volusa! I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. Ah, uh, just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something to pluck straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Cascarafa gym, you need, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on the seaweed for this old man. Well, you see here at the auction, you gotta compete with other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course, but the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever's on sale. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Oh boy, here we go. We gotta make the winning bid, everyone. Okay, we'll start at 10,000. I will bid... We'll go 10,000. I will bid... 35. That was easy, what? <laughs> that was really easy. That was the gym test? Oh my god, that was easy. That was amazing you put those grown-up bitters to shame with your bitten skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now, if you don't mind. This seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low at the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of the money I gave you, feel free to keep it as a tip. 
You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head on back to the Kaskarfa gym now. Oh man, Kofu's gonna prepare for a real good battle for you. See you there. Not even an apology from that guy. Yeah, that was like the easiest gym test ever. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna fly there. I'm gonna cheat and fly there. Because that is how we save time. All right, Cascafera says destination. Fly to this Pokemon Center. All right, let's go. We're gonna challenge him now. I'm not gonna voice the lobby leader. Oh, who are these people? I forget the voice I've done for him, so I'm sorry if everything's off. It's like I've done so many voices for this game already. Well, no, Kashiba. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. I think that's a woman. What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Nah, <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika here at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. You look like a man, like a really hot man. <laughs> she is a little farsh, farsisal, farsishal, shall we say. But like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. What? I was trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance. Anyway. Naturally, she is one of our academy's esteemed students. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See, when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gems what you got. Best of fortunes to you. Okay, can I challenge old man Kofu now? Yes, I did. Thank you. Yes, I am. Where is he? There he is. Oh, look at these kids. Oh my, he is popular. Sorry, everybody, I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick-like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see. Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Just sit back and watch. Watch me decimate this old man. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here.
At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics, ever-changing as the raging sea. I'm going to serve you a full course of water-type Pokemon. Don't try to eat it, though. I think I changed his voice, like, halfway through this video. <laughs> but anyway, let's do this. Oh, I see where you get Volusa from. Okay. Well, your little fish is going down. Sorry. It's gonna get my seed bombs hucked at it. Oh, red, it survives. Oof, a flying type move. Okay, well, magical leaf. And done. Let me see. Wug, wug, wug trio? What is a wug trio? Um, I'll keep Biakia for now. What? I have no idea what wug trio is. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that's not terrifying at all. Um, have a seed bomb. Uh oh. I'm gonna turn myself off on the other side so I can see my HP. Okay, so I killed it. Okay, crab bomb bowl. Yes, we want to change. Um, do we want to do Omphoros belly bolt or? Magneton, because my Magneton can terrestrialize into an ice type. Hmm. I mean, would it, it's a rock, ice, and water type. Or do we want to keep it simple? Um. How is rock effective against icy? That's probably why I won't, I'll probably go with Omphoros. Bring it on, old man. Bring it on. Terastalize. Electro Ball. Because Electro Ball is the best thing I got here. Well, actually, Magnetron's Electric Steel, and it would be Ice. Steel is better than Rock. So I could have done Magneton. It probably would have been an interesting go. Because I could still knock it. Because water and ice ain't very effective with each other, so. But I think Omphoros was the right choice. I'm <laughs> like that, it's almost decimated. Go ahead and try it. What can you possibly do? You're almost dead. Oh no, not a crab hammer. Yeah. Oh, the horror. Okay. <laughs> now you're paralyzed. Get fucked. <laughs> Alright. Let us throw one more electric ball at it. You're done. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're done. <laughs> That was easy, almost as easy as the gym test. Fulton Volusia, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself.
Gahaha, I lost as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little magic carp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy in Italy. You got me good, I tell you what a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in the victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to ya. Let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. That's... that's... okay. Okay. Why? <laughs> With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 40 will be easier to catch and listen. To you when you ask him to do things. Okay, so Brock says will listen to me now. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Alrighty, it's about time I had I headed on my way back to the restaurant and get to prepping for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Oh, Kashiba, hola. Caught you just as you finished up here, huh? Nice work. That puts your four badges in now, right? Ma'am, that's awesome. I can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. Makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm gonna have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it the best. I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Gah, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Kashiba. Forgive me, forgive me. Okay, well, that's that. Um, I don't know if we are going to challenge the fire crew this video. Um, I'm going to do some research on that ground titan really quick, seeing if that should be the next thing I hit up. Okay, I guess the fire type would be next, because I just researched, and the ground titan's like the fourth one, so... Uh, let's put together my team for... Well, let's go heal first. All right, now let's put together the team. Because Floragato ain't gonna do anything against um, the fire type. So we are going to put Broxish up first. And it says her Pokemon's like 26, 27, so... Water type Pokemon near that. Um, she's close, Miss. She's close. He's close. Do I want all water types? What What else is fire weak against? So ground type as well. I just caught a Silicobra. Um, add you to the team. Mm. We will add your close, so we'll add you. Oh, I want my Omphoros back. So are we going with those three? I think we're gonna go with these three. What does my Buizel have? Does it have better moves? Soak, Water Gun. Attack, Bite, Aqua Jet, Dive. I think Marina would be better. Bruxish only has Aqua Jet. Uh. I think we'll be fine. We'll just train these two up a bit and call it from there.
Okay, um, so I think for the rest of this video, we're gonna do terror raids to get candy. To power up those Pokemon. Let's see, what is this? This looks like a poison type. I forget what poison is weak to. Mm. Ooh, it's a three star, and it's a Pachirisu. I would definitely need to know what is weak against poison, or strong against poison. Uh, give me a Pokemon chart. So, ground and psychic. I just caught a giraffe rig. But this is like a level 35 Pokemon. Um. How good would the giraffe rig be? It's got side beam. That would be the only thing, and it terrestrializes into a normal type, not a psychic type, so I don't think it would be much help. Eh. We might not challenge that one. You bitch. Not even worth my time. Okay. Let's go closer to where she's at. We'll set her as my destination. I can find her. Mm, don't need that area yet. Poison. But she's right here. And we'll fly. There's a bunch of terror raids right here, so we'll fly here. A dragon and a fairy. I like those types. I actually might keep Bruxish on my team <clears throat> because Bruxish can terrestrialize into a dragon type, so. And that could be really useful. All right, where is it? It's up there, down, fuck, up there. Okay. Why did they have to put them in the weirdest spots that it's, like, impossible to get to? It's so annoying. Because now I gotta find my way up there. And it sucks because it's a dragon one. Okay, fine. We'll go to the fairy one. That might actually be easier to get to. Or psychic. I'm sorry. God damn it, get out of my way. Or is it a fairy type? No, I think it's psychic. I can never tell the difference. I think this is a psychic one, though. Yeah, the psychic. Which I can't use Florigato anymore. Because I got rid of Bite. Wait, don't I have... Oh, Bruxish will be fine. We'll use Bruxish. Bruxish has Bite. I wonder what this Pokemon is. I don't think I have it. Oh, it's a Voltorb. Yep, I don't have Voltorb. Just need Bite, although with it being a Voltorb, it could fuck me up massively. It's fine by me. <laughs> Use your ground type moves. It's better than your electric type. I have no idea how to get to that dragon one. I want to take on that dragon one so bad. Wait, is that? No. Damn, I thought that was like a way up. Because I want to challenge that dragon one so bad. And I have no idea how to get up there. Wait, hang on, hang on. Let's go down here a little bit, see if we can find another way up. It's right there. Um, it's on the other side, isn't it? Okay, let's go over here. Oops. 
these cliffs suck. Nope, that didn't wait. Hang on, secret. Or an ending. Nope, it's an ending. Never mind. Okay, forget about the dragon type one then. Let's see, is there one close to. Um, what's her face? Milena. Not particularly. I guess that's fine. Fly to the, one of the closest Pokemon centers. We'll fly. Actually, let's fly to this one and take on those. Or at least one of those, because I think that's all I have time for in this video. All right, this is the last terror raid we're doing. We're doing a poison type shelter. That's dope. I like I like the poison type terror stylization. That this one. Well, between this and the, the dragon type and the psychic type, they're all pretty cool. But let's see how well this goes using Psybeam. Okay, it's going good. It's well. <laughs> We're doing okay. That's fine. Giraffe Rig was a good pick. Your ice shard is garbage. Take my Psybeam and get out of here. I don't even think I have a shell there, so catching time. I might as well just start catching my Pokemon from Terror Raids. It's much easier than just finding them in the wild. Because I've caught a lot of new Pokemon from Terror Raids. Actually, we're gonna add you to my party. Get out of here, Marina. I want shoulder. All right, we'll go... Heal you up at the Pokemon Center really quick because I'm pretty sure you're down to one HP. And then we'll call it a video. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Also, follow me on Twitter at Kashiba Gamer Girl and on TikTok at Kashiba Chan. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, is that the tumbleweed bugs?